Hey Deckers, I've got an awesome new plugin to share with you about getting your Epic Games up and running in game mode without ever having to leave. Well, except if you haven't got Decky Loader, which is a prerequisite, so check that out in the description below if you haven't got it already, then this plugin is going to make things a lot simpler for you in future. Especially if you want to start picking up those free Epic Games again and just being able to install them and run them directly from game mode without having to go through any other launchers. This is the big con, which was free last week. As you can see, running perfectly fine at 60 frames per second on the deck. As you saw very briefly, the plugin is called Junk Store and as of today is available in the official standard release of Decky Loaders Marketplace. You're going to see me add it here from the test store but this was because I had early access. Huge thanks to them. I've been working with them for quite some time now to get this working extremely well. So just go into the Decky marketplace and search for junk and install junk store. This will just take a couple of seconds and add in a new junk store section into Decky Loader. Open that up, but head to the about section first. Take a little read. He's done some fantastic work here, but what we actually need to do is go into the dependencies and hit install. This might go white and not show text the first time. If that happens, just exit out and try again. But otherwise you'll see the progress in this window and you'll know it's done because the button will come back clickable. If you don't have Proton Easy Anti-Cheat and BattleEye previously installed on your deck, then you will have the option to install those down below. But if they're grayed out, it's because you've already got them. And do check out the support tab. Their Discord is absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend you going on there for tips and tricks and also support him on Patreon. There are some experimental features that are only available for the higher Patreon tier. Now back into Junk Store, if we head to games, we have a login button up at the top. This will then sign you into Epic. The easiest way is to do this via the standard username and password. If you do want to use the third party login like Google, then you will need to switch to desktop mode to do that as the browser doesn't open in game mode, unfortunately. So if you do want to go through that flow, you have to do it from big picture mode in desktop. Otherwise sign in as normal. Now, if you do get this epic error because you either logged out and back in again, or there's just another conflict on your deck, then there is a simple fix, but you again will need to switch to desktop mode. And I'll link the troubleshooting guide in the description below so that you can copy and paste this on the deck. But there is a command that you will need to then run in console on desktop mode to clear this error. But first time users should not have this issue at all. This is mainly because I'd uninstalled and reinstalled. And one of the flat packs it uses called Legendary does have a bit of an issue with the Epic log out and back in again. So if you do hit this issue, just paste this command in. It will open up another web window and you just copy and paste that response back into console and that will fix your login issue. Back in Junk Store, you can see I've installed a few games, one of which was Fall Guys, and this requires a couple of extras, as if you do try to run this by default, it will give you an error saying that it's missing files. Now, if you do run a game and it just crashes immediately, one of the options that you'll see in this extra side menu with the kind of settings icon next to play game is for registry fix. So you always give that a try first. But if you know the game needs easy anti-cheat, you need to use the easy anti-cheat toggle or battle eye on the settings cog. And then under the kind of preferences tab, what you'll need to do is go and run an exe there. But just quickly, if you do need to run Proton Tricks for any of these games, you can actually run it directly from this menu as well. So you can run Proton Tricks for this game in game mode and not have to switch to desktop mode. So if you have to do the C++ fix for some of these games to run VS Run 2022, for example, you can do this all from game mode as well, making life a little bit easier. If there are executables in the game launcher though, for things like the Epic Online Services or EAC installs. If you have issues with those, you can run them directly from here as well from this menu. Just choose that Run XE in Game Folder option from that preference menu. And for Epic Online Services, you'll need to scroll down and find the Epic Online Services installer and run that. It will look like it doesn't do anything, but this sets up the launcher for the next run. And then when you hit Play Game again, 
it will install the online services. You will need to do this for each game that has the online services requirement as it is still containerized in Proton, but otherwise you'll be good to go. As you can see, once I had installed this and enabled the easy anti-cheat toggle, I was able to play Four Guys on the Epic Game Store version on the deck, running at a perfect 60 frames per second as you would expect. Once you have installed your games, you can get rid of the Epic Games login extra that it adds into your game directory. So you can just hide that once you've logged in and you can start playing your games at will. I reinstalled Bioshock Infinite and I absolutely love this game. Every time I get a chance to test out Epic Games, this is one of my go-tos. And of course, you get all of those free games on deck as well, including things like Fallout New Vegas. So do keep your eye on those epic free games once again. There are some games that still don't work, as you would expect. Destiny 2 and Fortnite are blocked on Linux regardless of what you do, so they will not function. And I'll also post the GitHub link in the description below to games that are known working. But of course, if you are thinking of running a game, check on the Discord or that file first so that you know whether you're going to be wasting your time or not. This is just the start for Junksword. He is working on GOG Store support as well, and you can even sideload your own scripts to add in other launchers as well. So do check out the Discord and GitHub in the description below. Let us know what games you're going to be running from the Epic Store on your deck from now on. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.